Pastor Free here from Christ the Lord Lutheran Church and School. Uh, we are in the midst of a powerful series that is all about how Jesus changes lives. I hope you've been enjoying these short but revealing messages from God's Word that, that really will change your life. Today we're going to look at one scene in the Bible that, that to me is perhaps the most powerful, uh, meaningful section of Scripture that exists. But before I share it with you, I need you to review with me what you know about the Apostle Peter. Peter, if you recall, was one of Jesus' twelve disciples. Uh, he's often remembered as that one dude who often acted and, and spoke before thinking. Uh, he cut off that one guy's ear when Jesus was being arrested. Uh, he tried to stop Jesus from carrying out his mission of salvation and was rebuked. Jesus even called him Satan. Peter, though, is probably best known for his complete denial of Jesus. In Matthew chapter 26, Peter in the upper room on the night Jesus was betrayed, he boldly proclaimed that he would never, ever fall away, never break faith with Jesus, even if anyone else, everyone else did. Yet three times, count them, Peter denied his Lord. That brings me back to what I think might be the most powerful, meaningful section of Scripture. It's found in Mark chapter 16. Jesus has been killed. He, he died on a cross. Three days later, though, three women went to Jesus' tomb and found the entrance to that tomb empty. The stone had been rolled away, and an angel was there waiting. That angel said some, some pretty powerful words. Uh, Don't be afraid. He, Jesus, is risen just as he said. But it's not those words that make this scene. Not for me, at least. It's these words found in verse 7. But go, tell his disciples and Peter. And Peter. Those two words make this scene beautiful to me. Because when I hear those words, I hear my own name. Try it. Put your name in the place of Peter's. Jesus is just being announced alive, risen from the grave. And the angel wants to make sure you hear about it. You. And you ever wonder, you ever wonder how Peter felt after he let down the Savior of the world? You ever wonder what was running through his mind as Jesus hung on that cross, as he was placed in that tomb uh, dead? You don't have to wonder. We're, we're told that after Peter denied Jesus that third time and heard that rooster crow a second time, that he, Peter, broke down and, and wept. He, Peter, never had a chance. Never had a chance to apologize. He never had an opportunity to make things right with his Lord. That's our story. Your story. All those sins, all that guilt, all that shame we feel in life, we can't make things right. Our sin is too great. The thought of hell is too real. And you can't fix it. So God tells you he did. He changed you. It's a beautiful story, one I hope you never forget. No matter how alone you feel in this world, no matter how far in the dumps you think you are, no matter what kind of burdens you carry, be it, be it physical or, or spiritual, God wants you to know that Jesus died and rose for you. God wants you to know this. So here today, God has changed you. He has made you his own. He has called you by name. And he will take you home one day where he will always have you. It's a beautiful story. You're part of it. And it's true. God be praised. Amen.